a Muslim, but my wife is a Christian, and I have nothing against her choice. Hasari Dukubo, welcome to the news, and thank you for turning in to listen. In the mid hours of today, a well-known Nigerian chief from Calabari land, Asari Dukubo, went live on a social media platform, Facebook, to make comments about some socio-political issues concerning Nigeria. At some point, he talked about his personal life, saying, I'm a Muslim, but my wife is a Christian, and I have nothing against her or her choice of religion. Asari Dukubo says some of his followers assume he's a traditional worshipper, as a result of his recent traditional outfit. He added, The white bandana I tied on my head is something I got from my father. It is not related to traditional worshipping. I do not have a problem with the religion of people, but I don't like it when somebody is trying to force his or religion on me. Well, I want to believe him. make the cities. He said some, he said a social political uh, issue. So I want to believe it is in line with 2023 election. And there is no how we are going to talk about 2023 election without talking about the candidates. And there is no way we are going to talk about the candidate that we don't talk about the person who is coming out and saying Nigerians, now Muslim Muslim tickets, nine will not go vote for. The matter don't clever. I should say you don't catch the joke. A particular candidate is telling us that now this one I'm better. This is someone that has closed his mouth over the recent happening in Nigeria, good or bad. He has not helped echo a voice. He has not helped done anything. And he and his running mate are coming out to tell us, oh no, it does not matter. Muslim Muslim tickets go matter. Eh? He is not like that. We are not like that, you know. You just give us a trial and the trial will convince us. Nigerians, what's our deal? Are we going to give these people the opportunity to come? Come into Nigeria and give us a Muslim Muslim ticket that is going to disorganize us. That is going to disorganize us. Because I tell you today, if we, if we the electorate, vote along the lines of Shah, we could just vote Shah. You know what is going to happen? And at the end of the day, maybe let's say Muslim Muslim ticket. Let's say he, he wins. What is going to happen is the Northerners. The Northerners will keep on telling us that. And after all, they don't do Muslim Muslim ticket before they walk. Because that is what everyone is saying. That is what they are bringing to our notice. That ah, they, don't do nothing, they don't do Muslim Muslim before and nobody died. So Nigerians, they're going to pick in a poison. Hmm. All right, your wife is a fake Christian. He has up to nine wives, and only one is a Christian. Oh, how is his wife a fake Christian? Because she agreed to marry him. <laughs> well, that part may be our concern. Waiting women sabi if no be money. Even if you yourself was never born a Muslim, now waiting as sorry go chop carry and would go do Muslim. Hey. Are you now going to start judging people based on the kind of religion they pick? Look at this bamboo. How many wives do you have? He has nine wives with 21 children. He say my wife. <laughs> is that now our problem? I beg. The number of wives society has is not our problem in this country. Anybody will like make him marry if you can three if and yes, if you can take up to 14 wives, please do so. And if you if the if they agree to marry you, now your problem with that. Okay. That is you. Everyone should be you. Everyone should not be you. After all, you're not a model. A good man should emulate. A violent and abusive man is what you are. And no person of meek and humble background can marry a man like you. How you use no? Huh. Okay. Old man like you, you speak like a child. I'm a Muslim. My wife is a Christian. <laughs> my goodness. I want to believe that the Muslim Muslim ticket is what he's talking about, except I have not seen. I see the the shit about it is that Nigerians we can do the need we should do the need for. We should do the need for. Come twenty three. Eh? 
what is gracious about this 2023 ticket is that it is so called we have choice we have a choice to make the pdp yes they came out and betrayed their own self pdp overlooked is is a constitution as the pdp will be then get constitution will be say after month will finish it will go back to south but pdp came out and said no they don't want they want after not another not another we did look them. APC can't say, ah, PDP don't come as I can't do that. I'll make you follow them, play the same, along the same line now. At least, we could play, um, we could play religion card. PDP pick most of them tickets. But, the love will get to be see, we get other people will come as we do the right thing. And fortunately, they're not just doing the right thing, but they're doing what is right in the eyes. You know, they're winning the hearts of Nigerians with what they're even doing now. So, the thing is, this Muslim Muslim ticket, I've said it before, enough of it. We have flogged it enough. All we need to do is to go down. All we need is to go, as in um, 2022, we do the right, we do the right thing. We do the right thing. We are not, at this point of our lives in Nigeria, if you're a Nigerian, and you have witnessed what has happened to, to us in how am I going to put it now? You have witnessed the kind of government you have. I want to believe that come 2023, you have no option than to pick you know, a candidate that is going to make Nigeria lives better. Okay? You should pick a choice that is going to make Nigeria lives better. Somebody is saying, vote your choice and leave to number alone. He did not call anybody, but you know, we all know that he is indirectly talking about one particular person. So Nigerians, let us make sure come twenty twenty three, we do not just um come twenty twenty three. We don't choose along um, sentiment, lines of we are not sentimental. Let us leave out, you know, um, tribalism, ethnicism, uh, favoritism, nepotism, and autism that causes problems. Let us make sure that um, we we pick a candidate. Who has shown us and who we are convinced that will make Nigeria a better place. It will have only one shot at this. I've said it that picking or voting the right candidate is the easy way out. Not picking or voting the right candidate is a very difficult way out, which will mean that we are going to need to gnash our teeth for a very long time before we get it right. Nigerians, make we suit ourselves. The choice is totally ours to make.